When studying Nazi Germany, the question is always asked. How did Hitler go from Chancellor in January 1933 to Fuhrer by August 1934? What did he do to consolidate his power? The Nazi party achieved 196 seats in the July election of 1932 and were the largest party in the Reichstag. Eventually Hindenburg did appoint Hitler the Nazi leader, Chancellor, in January 1933. However, Hitler did not have absolute power and still faced many obstacles. For example, he could only make laws if the Reichstag agreed. Over the next year and a half, Hitler used a combination of legal means and terror to consolidate his power. In February 1933, the Reichstag catches fire and a Dutch communist van der Loop is caught burning the building. Hitler used this to his advantage to show how Germany was in danger from the communists in the country and as a result Hitler had many communist leaders imprisoned. The fire also destroyed legal documents and this made way for Hitler to make new laws. In response to the burning of the Reichstag, Hitler convinced Hindenburg to pass the law for the protection of people and state. This law gave the government the power to suspend many civil rights which had been guaranteed in the Weimar constitution. On the 5th of March, in the elections, the Nazis achieved 44% of the votes, which is accounted for 288 seats in the Reichstag. In this election, many communist leaders were imprisoned, and other key opposition figures were intimidated by the SA. And as a result, following the election, the enabling law was easily passed. The enabling law, in effect, gave Hitler the power to make law for four years without approval of the Reichstag. Hitler had destroyed democracy in Germany by banning other parties, with the law against the formation of parties, making the Nazi party the only party in Germany. By July 1933, Germany had become a one-party state. On the 30th of June 1934, Hitler now destroys any remaining opposition within his own party, which became known as the Night of Long Knives. Hitler had his loyal SS purge members of the SA, including their leader Rahm. It is believed that 100 people were killed on this evening. Hindenburg was the only person standing in the way of Hitler's dictatorship. But on the 2nd of August 1934, President Hindenburg died. On the 19th of August 1934, Hitler combines the roles of Chancellor and President and appoints himself Führer of Germany. The German army take an oath of allegiance to Hitler and the last signs of democratic Germany are dismantled to make way for Hitler's Third Reich. Hitler's consolidation of power is now complete.